what's going on guys? It's the Beast Pokeballer here as always coming at you with the next live Wi-Fi battle on the channel guys today We have an OU battle versus my friend Kyle a uh, Kyle as I call him obviously uh, He's a streamer and youtuber and of course he's on Twitter So the links to all that will be in the description now guys We have a little bit of a new team today that features Mega Venusaur. We'll go with music 3 because why not? Um, so yeah, um, where do you reckon the Mega Venusaur the Life Dorb Latios the Heatran the um, Zumarill, Bisharp, and of course, Lando T. I believe it's Lando T. I don't think it's Lando. Yeah, it's Lando T. Lando I is the other one, the one on the cloud. <laughs> but yeah, <clears throat> Heatran and Venusaur, uh, they, they cover each other really well with the weaknesses and everything, especially Mega Venusaur. Uh, so, yeah, we could just go ahead and uh, start from there real quick. Uh, shout out to Tabes for joining the team. He's a pretty cool dude. Uh, just kidding, tapes kind of sucks. But yeah, let's go ahead and do this battle. He'll be rocking the Manetric, which I could only assume to be the Mega. We're going to have the, uh, what's that thing called? Excadrill, the Manaphy. Got the Superior. A Weavile, of course, Threatening. And last but not least, an Arcanine dropping a tier to get the Arcanine. That's pretty cool. So, uh, immediate lead. I'm thinking the Weavile, or possibly he might want to switch priority on the uh, Manetric. Or not priority, but he might want to get him a Volt Switch. So, knowing that, I'm going to lead with my own landers, knowing that I can U-turn. Uh, I believe I'm Choice Scarfed, right? Come on, tell me I'm Scarfed. Yeah, Choice Scarfed. So, yeah, we'll do that. Uh, this has uh, Stone Edge instead of Rock Slide, uh, which, you know, it's cool. Uh, but, yeah, I think I think Landorus is our best lead. It covers his team pretty well. Uh, the scariest thing against it would be... Ooh, what if he actually led with Weavile? That'd be pretty scary. What counters Weavile the best? Probably Azumarill. Maybe we want to lead with Azumarill. I don't know. Uh, we'll switch into a Zoomerill if we have to. Uh, knockoff is gonna be stupid, uh, so that'll be kind of scary. But yeah, I think I think Landorus is the lead that we want to go with. Uh, the, again, the Weavile is super scary though. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get this battle on the road. Remember, guys, leave a like if you want to support my channel. It's really nice of you if you can do that. Yeah. Also, hit me up on Google Plus so I can get YouTube verified. A. Hey. Anyways, Kyle is issuing us a challenge, and he's gonna be. Well, okay, I'm going to be leading out with my Landorus, and he's going to be sending out with Confused Stars, which is the Weavile, of course. <laughs> Alright. Um, the Intimidate is nice. I almost want to predict the knockoff. Uh, I, I want to predict the knockoff. I know that he can't kill us with an Ice Shard, and will obviously outspeed. Uh, and I think we'll be able to take this thing down really easily with a U-turn, so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. He's going to go for the Fake Out, of course. That was very smart. That would have been a good turn to switch in to the... Huh. So what do I do now? I... I... Ugh, Ice Shard is pretty scary. Uh, maybe now would be a good time to actually just go into Azumarill. To be all... To be honest. To be completely honest. Heatran also, like, does this thing really well. I just don't want to catch the knockoff on Heatran. Why don't we stay in a new turn? Yeah. Let's just stay in a new turn. I d we're not going to lose Landorus... Um, he's gonna withdraw. All right, that's cool. He's gonna go into canine. Is that th no? Okay. Yeah. So he's gonna eat this up pretty well. He might actually not have the ice shard, uh, but we're gonna get intimidated, which kind of sucks. Being us down a lot. Uh, but we are gonna get a free switch into whatever we want. Uh, which you know, Zumarill is uh, probably the choice to go with here. Uh, Rocky Helmet's gonna take some damage. That kind of sucks. And again, thinking again, this thing does get wild, or, yeah, wild charge. So I gotta say, I mean, Heatran's a good option. I don't want to really take a close combat. I'll just go into the Azumarill, knowing that I can most likely take a wild charge. Nice and shiny, of course. Uh, so obviously, pretty sure he'll be predicting the Aqua Jet, so this might be a good, tr good turn. Go for the belly drum, but I also don't really want to risk it 100%. So going for the aqua jet might actually be the good turn, uh, the good the good idea here. Or we could possibly predict the switch into the superior and go for a play rough. I don't know, I don't know, because the uh, superior can definitely take us out in one hit, and I almost want to do that risky prediction. I think I'm going to. Let's see the superior. Let's see it, guys. I am known to over predict a lot, so uh, you know we'll see how this goes. He's gonna withdraw. Oh, come on, show me the superior. Show me the superior. Japanese name? Oh, it's Manaphy. Well, I know Manaphy's not gonna want to take this play rough at all. Uh, not quite dead, but getting a great amount of damage on. 
Uh, he's mostly going to go for the Skull this turn. Does Manaphy get Ice Beam? I believe it does. So he might set up the Tail Glow here, which is really scary. Um, and honestly, I don't think this team could... I, I, uh, he gets Energy Ball, doesn't he? Gets Energy Ball. Don't want to be stupid. Uh, I think the play here is to actually just go straight into Venusaur. So that's what I'll do. Um, I'm going to also plug in the DSC. <laughs> Real quick. So he's going to switch out into the Arcanine. Oh, that's smart. Double prediction. Ugh. We're going to take the Intimidate. That's okay, though. Um, this thing is definitely, like, threatening when it comes to Venusaur, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Oh, I wish I stayed in. Really wish I stayed in. Alright, so... No idea what that hidden power is. I'd assume, uh, ice or fire. <sighs> the play, the play. He might be a defensive type, you know, considering he has a rocky helmet. Uh, I know we can, like, probably eat any sort of hit he wants to throw at us. So, I think we might have to switch into Heatran again. Oh god, we could have gotten a Belly Drum off, to be honest. That would have been smart. Uh, but, uh, da -da 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 -da. what to do, what to do. Um, I say we go into the Landorus. I don't think he can hit us super hard for anything. I don't believe a Flare Blitz will take us out. Uh, he's gonna withdraw Kane himself. What's he gonna go into? He's gonna go into Ex-Boyfriend. Ooh. Ah, and that's gonna be this thing. Uh, Excadrill, of course. Oh, I get the nickname. I get it. <laughs> uh, he has an Air Balloon, which is actually... That kind of messes us up, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but a Superpower should be able to hit this thing pretty hard, and I know that it most likely is not gonna be able to hit us uh, with anything for super effective damage. Plus, uh, that, that uh, Intimidate's gonna help us out a ton. So I see no reason not to just go for a knockoff here uh, and hit whatever he decides to switch in. I don't think he's gonna stay in, uh, fearing the Super Power. So let's see what Kyle does. Guys, Kyle is a very good battler. Uh, also an opponent in the NPA. That's gonna do a massive amount of damage with a critical hit. That's awful. Uh, he's gonna go for X Scissor, and we're just gonna eat that up, luckily for us. So he can switch out here, but I know he doesn't want anything to take a knockoff, so I am completely fine taking out this Excadrill. Um, he must have been predicting something to come in instead. Uh, which, you know, it really, this thing I know couldn't really touch my Landorus, so I think it was safe to stay in. So let's see what he does. Uh, I think he's going to stay in and just sack the Excadrill. Uh, if anything, he might go into the, the like, Manetric, trying to eat the knockoff, but I'm pretty sure, too, even then, we'll probably be able to take him out. Because uh, obviously we can't be using Earthquake. So yeah, it looks like he's most likely going to have to uh, sack the Excadrill here. So let's just wait and see what happens. Um, but how's your guys' day doing? Tell me in the comment section below. Uh, why don't you suggest some teams if you want me to use any cool teams or any cool Pokemon. Uh, also tell me what tiers you want to see more of. You know, I only do UU and OU mostly. Uh, but I wouldn't mind trying to do some NU. I think that'd be pretty fun. Uh, we get two critical hits in a row. That's actually... Like, I wish that didn't happen, because now the critical hit luck is not on my side. Uh, but hacks! Hacks and he hacks. That first critical hit definitely did matter. Second one, I don't think so. Definitely don't think so. The first one just helped. Uh, regardless, I would have stayed in, though, because he couldn't really hit us. Uh, so what's he going to go into? I mean, he could go into Manetric now. Knowing that he could definitely eat the, uh, the knockoff. So let's just wait and find out. I'm, I'm thinking he might go into Manetric, probably carrying the HP Ice. Uh, so that's pretty scary. But our best switch into that, like, uh, our Heat Train can basically wall that out. Uh, he's going to go to Confuse Stars again. Which, yeah, we're going to definitely have to switch out here. I know he's going to want to go for an Ice move. Uh, or, like, you know, some sort of... He's probably going to go for the Fake out here, in all honesty. So I think it's safe to go into Heatran or Bisharp. Or, honestly, Azumarill. I'm going to go into Azumarill. Uh, he's definitely going to go for the fake out here. And I know Azumarill can eat that. And then we can we can Belly Drum. And then it honestly could... I, I don't know if I really want a Belly Drum. Actually, we might just play rough. Uh, predicting some sort of switch. But yeah, he's going to go for the fake out. It's going to do, like, nothing. Uh, actually, it does good damage. We've lost very good Pokemon. But yeah, I am just going to straight up go for the play rough here. And hit whatever he's most likely going to switch into. If anything, he's going to go for a knockoff, but then he'll have a dead Weavile, so I don't think that's fair. 
Alright, he is gonna stay in. I didn't mean to say fair, I meant to say. I don't think it's a good play. Um, so I knocked off our Citrus Berry, which sucks, but now I can go for the play rough and, like, he kinda dead. He is kinda dead. That's really good for us. So that's two Pokemon down so far. We still have a 6 to 4 lead. That's really good. I'm wondering what he's gonna send in now. The best bet would probably be the Superior. I can't touch that at all. I do not have Ice Punch. I don't think I have Ice Punch. Uh, yeah, again, Tabes made this team for me. This is actually one of Tabes' teams. Uh, but if he goes in the Superior, I think my best bet is definitely the Venusaur. Uh, or honestly, I think the Heatran can wall it out even better. Yeah, definitely Heatran. Uh, okay, so he's gonna go into this thing now. Now, this is definitely scary. Um, you know, our best switch is definitely Landorus. I'm thinking he could predict him to go for the HP Ice, but I don't know if he really wants to make that bold of a prediction at this, at this moment in the battle. So I'm gonna switch into the Landorus. Uh, he is gonna intimidate us, which is kind of annoying. Um, but we should still be able to take him out with an Earthquake. Uh, plus, anyways, we can also just U-turn out of here. Uh, to whatever he goes into. So I'm guessing he went for a Volt Switch. Does this thing get Nasty Plot? That'd be really scary. Oh, but yeah, we're gonna get Intimidated, unfortunately. He's got- Oh, he did- He predicted the hit- that, That's very smart. Good job, Kyle. That was a very nice prediction. Uh, that's gonna take out a Landorus, which is definitely our number one thing to take this thing down. Uh, but I know Heatran can itself do a lot of work against it, so I'm not really afraid. Plus, he has two Intimidate Pokemon, which means our Bisharp, like, has a huge advantage here with its Defiant boost. Uh, and, you know, Sucker Punch, of course. So, our Shiny Heatran right here is honestly, like, how much do we need Stealth Rocks up? How much does that really help? I don't think too much. I'm just gonna fire off a Lava Plume. He's probably gonna switch into, what's he gonna switch into? I don't remember his team, and I forgot to take a picture of it, not gonna lie. Uh, let's just go for the Lava Plume here, so it does. Again, he can't really touch us, like, at all. He's gonna go for the Volt Switch, that's fine by me. That is fine by me. Go to the Superior, please, yeah. He is going to go into the... What was this thing again? Manaphy, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's a good move. Uh, so yeah, Lava Plume's gonna go off, and it's not gonna kill, I doubt it. Yeah, definitely not. Is he gonna get the burn? That'd be helpful. I assume he's gonna go for Tail Glow this turn, which is definitely scary. Uh, but, I think with Sucker Punch, and our Venusaur can most likely take a hit. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely gonna switch out into Venusaur here. Mega Venusaur. Because, uh, again, these two do cover each other's weaknesses really well. So that's good. Also, guys, I'd like to really quickly apologize for no battle on Monday. I know I usually like to have battles up on Monday, but I've been, like, super busy this week with school. Yeah, he does go for Tailgo. That's that's scary, but I, we're, we're also good. I don't think this thing gets recover. Uh, so I'm really not flexing too hard. So all I'm going to do here is just Giga Drain. Smartest move. Uh, but yeah, I've just been really busy with school. I've had to stay after school a bunch, and then I've been really busy coming home. Uh, so I do apologize about that thoroughly. I will continue to have two Wi-Fi battles up a week after this. I might try and get two up today, possibly, if you guys would want to see that. I don't know. I can't promise anything. Um, but there's a pretty cool video coming tomorrow, which is going to be my booster box opening. So, Or not booster box, I'm sorry. Elite Trader box. So he's going to go for the Hidden Power, which is Hidden Power Ice. We should be able to eat that. It's not even super effective because of the thick fat, and this Giga Drain is going to take him out. Uh, his best bet there, honestly, would have been to reserve this and switch into the Superior. Uh, I could have predicted and gone for a Sludge Bomb, but that really wouldn't have been a good move. This team even walls out Talonflame. Like, uh, Heatran's a really good Pokemon. You guys should definitely try him out if you haven't yet. Uh, I'd assume he's going to go to Arcanine here, which I don't even really want to switch out into because he might just go for the Close Combat, predicting it. I still don't know if this is like an attacking... Uh, an attacking type of Arcanine. It might be special, um, just to, you know, preserve HP and be, like, very defensive or specially defensive. Uh, but yeah, he's gonna go in to the Arcanine once again. <sighs> he's gonna intimidate us, which is kind of crappy, but at the same time, I d don't really mind it. Um, like I said before, I really think just staying in and sludge bombing is our best bet. Flare Blitz will hurt, but it will also hurt him, and it won't kill us. Uh, you know, Venusaur has really good physical defense, so that's cool. He is gonna go for the Flare Blitz, uh, switching into the Heatran would have been a better bet, but I know we can eat it up here, right? We eat that up amazingly, wow. I don't think this thing has too much invested into its attack, it might be more of a defensive and specially defensive set, 
Um, but as you can see here, the Sludge Bomb still does a massive amount of damage with another crit. Kyle, I am so sorry for all these hacks, dude. I am so sorry. Uh, but really, there's no point for us not to just go for one last Sludge Bomb to finish this thing off. He's going to go for the Willow. So that's smart, but we do avoid it. Ah, oh, the hacks. Oh, dude, I feel so bad, honestly. Dude, we're have, we have Bright Powder. Bright Powder, Mega Venusaur. Get it trending on Twitter. Um, but yeah, dude, I'm really sorry about that, buddy. Really sorry. Uh, hacks do seem to be on my sides. And he's going to go into his Manetric now. Uh, the Intimidate's gonna go out. This thing is, like, scary. It probably has Flamethrower or Fire Blast. There's no... Uh, actually, Heatran walls this thing out, actually, completely. So, I, I'm just gonna switch into Heatran here. I was gonna just kind of sack Venusaur or let him take a hit. Uh, but there's really no point in doing that when he most likely cannot touch Heatran at all. Uh, we're very... Heatran's a very specially defensive Pokemon, so I know we can eat any type of special electric attack fairly well, I'd assume. Yeah, we eat that good. We can take another two and then die on the third one, most likely. Uh, do we have Earth Power? I do not remember, actually. We'll have to wait and see. We do not. That's fine by me. Um, just throwing out the Lava Plume here. Kind of seals the deal. Heatran should be able to lock this game down. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just going to throw out the Lava Plume. He's going to go for the Volt Switch. And all he has left is Superior. Uh, I guess he might want to get that Intimidate off, but I don't really know. I don't really know how that's going to help him at this point. Rambo. Yeah, I actually, he used this in our last battle. We battled on stream, on his stream once, and I brought the team with the Mega Metagross, and uh, he won. I lost my Mega, like, second turn there. It was awful. Uh, but yeah, we're able to take Rambo almost all the way down. Uh, you know, there's no reason why we shouldn't be living this next attack. If he has HP ground, then we're most likely dead, but we can go into uh, our Bisharp to end off the deal. Leaf Storm is going to go off, and it's going to do, like, good damage, but not the best damage I've ever seen, so... Special attacks can get raised, but it really doesn't matter at all. Because, uh, yeah, he's down for the count now, which is good. Which is good. Uh, it's just his last Pokemon now. We should be able to seal it up. Um, there's a chance that we might lose our Heatran. Uh, but with the rest of our team still mostly healthy completely, uh, with Aqua Jet and uh, Sucker Punch, we should be able to finish it off. So, that's really good. Excuse me for the helicopter in the background. That's what it's like living in a city, uh, if you guys don't know. Oh, but yeah, I'm just going to Lava Plume here. No point not to. He's going for the Thunderbolt. I don't think it should be able to take us out. And... Oh, critical hit. There we go. There's some hacks that he needs. A little bit too late for him, unfortunately, though. Uh, so I'm just going to go into Azumarill. I'm not trying to preserve, like, the 4-0. That doesn't really matter to me. What matters to me is getting the win. And, well, actually, what matters to me is just having a good game. You know, I can't tell you the amount of times where I've lost a game, and I just go to my opponent. I'm like, dude, that was so fun. I don't even care that I lost. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go for the Aqua Jet here. Just to rack up some damage before we uh, straight up just go for the um, Sucker Punch. Uh, but yeah, he's going to go for the Thunder Pulse, and that should take us out, right? Yeah, that's fine by me, really. And uh, yeah, Bisharp should be able to finish this with his final hit. Um, again, Venusaur also can most likely take a hit from this guy. Oh yeah, dude, I love Shiny Bisharp. Probably my top 10 favorites. Um, but yeah, Sucker Punch should be able to end it. And yeah, that's the game. So I hope you guys all enjoyed. Remember to check out Kyle's channel in the link below. Also, I had a battle with my friend Jerry. Uh, Jerry Oak, I'm sure I'll have you know. And I got completely bodied. I actually got 6 owed. Uh, spoiler alert. But if you guys want to check out that video, uh, I'll put that in the description too, underneath like all of Kyle's links. Uh, just to give you know a shout out because I didn't upload the video. Obviously, I don't think you guys would have enjoyed to see that. Uh, but yeah, that is the video. Again, thank you, Kyle. Check out his Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube, all in the links below. Uh, check out my Twitch and Twitter. Also, uh, remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Leaving that like helps out so much, guys. And as always, let the outro. Roll.